Hello friends, welcome back again. Today we learn, how to create this. First of all we will create a new composition. We call it text. I'm using 360 by 80 resolution at 30 frame per second. Now select the typing tool, and type the text. Make sure your text alignment is in the center. Then we will add fill effect. And change its color. We are going to create a new composition. We call it main. This time I'm using full HD resolution at 30 frame per second. Now insert the text composition. Then we will create a new adjustment layer. We add CC Reptile effect on it. Here we change all expand value to 2000. For its animation, we add motion tile effect. Make sure you are at first frame, then add the tile center keyframe. We press U, to reveal key. Then move to the last frame. And subtract 542 on its current text value. I think we need to increase the text size. We use 150%. You can change if you want. Now let's preview it. Please do not forget to subscribe my channel. And follow us on Twitter. You can get the project file from link in below. If you are not satisfied with the speed, then change the X tile center value. Now we will select all the compositions. And create a pre-compose, by pressing Ctrl Shift C. Here we will add mesh warp effect on it. In mesh warp, we change row and columns amount to 2. Quality to 10. Before creating this twist effect, we will do some settings, so we don't do anything wrong. First we will press Ctrl R, and enable title action safe option. Then we add some ruler line. Something like that. Actually we use this lines for measurement. Now we are going to select the composition, and press T. We decrease the opacity value. So that the lines become brighter. We will select the mesh warp effect. Then we select, convert vertex tool. We will click on center. Then we move left point up. And upper point right. Something like this. This is what it looks like, after moving all the points. Now we will create a solid layer. Make sure its color is black. We are going to copy the mesh warp effect and paste it to solid layer. Then select the pen tool, and create a mask. Before masking, we decrease its opacity value, so that we can see the layer below. After the masking, we add fast box blur effect on it, and change its blur radius to 40. As you see, the shadow is not showing much on the corner. So now we will increase the layer size. I think it looks good. The way we created the upper shadow, we will create the lower shadow. Before create the shadow, we will duplicate the solid layer. And remove its mask. Now create a new mask. Both shadows are created. If you want you can change its opacity value and also experiment with colors. If you want to adjust the position of the mask, then select the point, and move it, wherever you want. Now let's preview it. Our today topic is complete, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, if you have any questions, please ask us on Twitter. And do not forget to subscribe my channel. Also give us your valuable feedback. It is very important to us. We will meet on next tutorial, and be happy.